Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Scorpion Ladies Dominion jacket, available at RevZilla.com. To my left, I have Hannah in the black version of the Scorpion Ladies Dominion. There's also going to be a blue and gray version as well. And if we look at it, to sum it up really quickly, you're just over the $200 mark, and there's a great mix of functionality and protection geared for two to three season cooler weather riding. So full sleeve removable thermal liner baked in. You have waterproofing, which is actually baked in and non-removable, and the vents are gonna vent to the liner system. So again, the hotter times of the year, you can't vent directly to the body. And again, that's a trade-off you're making. We call that a Z-liner construction, but really, if you're rocking a season or riding within a season, that's gonna be more cool to cold. Think spring and fall, it's gonna be a great mix. And then into the winter months, this would be a phenomenal bet. The other thing to keep in mind when you think about the foundational elements of the new Dominion is the protection. It's using SASTEC, which is a big step up. It is a molecular armor out of Germany, and you're getting that stock in the shoulders as well as the elbows. And remember, you can upgrade to a SASTEC back protector from Scorpion, but that's not gonna come stock. Now, quick note on sizing. And again, I have Hannah to my left. You can see it's articulated, but it's a bit more of a sport cut. You can see it's waist length. Hannah's gonna be 5'6", 125. She's wearing a size small. This jacket actually starts at extra small and she has a little bit of room in the torso. We consider Scorpion to be a little bit more generous and American cut, but if Hannah went down to an extra small, it probably wouldn't be tall enough in the arms or long enough in the arms as Hannah's 5'6". So keep that in mind, use the size chart. No surprises there. You do have some areas where you can cinch it down like the forearms and the biceps. But again, remember, we're gonna ship for free over 39 bucks. And as always, ladies, I'd love it if you would click and subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, our YouTube channel. Click our logo, leave me your comments, your questions, and your feedback on the new Scorpion Ladies Dominion jacket. Now, if we dive back into the jacket itself, let's walk through some of the nuances. The thing I haven't really talked about yet is the style side of things. Notice it's going to be about hip length, waist to hip length in that range. And notice it really has a very universal style. This is the black version. I can see someone on a sport bike, on a vintage bike, or on a cruiser potentially wearing this. It really depends on if it jives with you and that temperature mix and the level of investment jive within your budget. Also note that we talked about them briefly when we were talking about sizing, but notice on the forearm, it's two snaps with a elasticated panel. There's actually a third button there as well, and you can cinch it down on the bicep as well. So they're giving you a little bit more room to move, and then they're giving you the ability to cinch it down and keep the armor where it's supposed to be if you happen to have a get off or a crash situation. Notice slash hand warmer pockets on both sides, and if we look down towards the wrist, it's an auto locking zipper. So notice how that opens, and remember the waterproofing goes all the way down. It's not removable. So the water resistant zipper, waterproof backing, and that is an auto locking zipper. So that's a YKK auto locker, meaning that you can't open it when it's in that. That position. I'd have to flip it up and then it would be able to be unzipped and pulled down. Now, Hannah, before you turn to the side, I also want to talk about the zips on the tops of the shoulder. So if you look, there are your two main vents, two and two alone on this jacket. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna vent to the liner. Remember, that's not venting to the body. It's gonna create some circulation out around that liner. If you happen to be sweating, if it's raining, it's gonna allow the perspiration to evaporate through the waterproof breathable liner, but it's not gonna vent directly to the body like a jacket with a removable liner would. If we think about the Scorpion line for ladies, look at something like the Zion, which has removable thermal, but also has removable waterproofing, making those vents direct, and that's gonna be your four season option. Now turn and face that away for me there, Hannah. Now, if Hannah turns to the side, notice the big gusset along the back for range of motion. Notice the reflective piping that's working its way all the way down. That quilting comes all the way up under the arms. You see more piping there as well. And then along the hip, we have that cinch that moves down. Moving into the hip, notice it is going to be a drop seat. It gives you a little bit more coverage, and you have an expansion gusset, which is water resistant down here along the outside, there we go. Notice that's about two inches. So again, you have the ability to flare that depending on how you're built. That's one of the things that Scorpions focuses on is they wanna have a feminine form to these and they want them to be able to be cinched to be form fitting, but they definitely wanna give you range for adjustment depending on how you're built. Turn and face backwards for me there, Hannah. If we look at the top, nice leather roll at the top of the collar, you can see that, and then you have the reflective piping or the reflective stripe right below the collar. And as you work your way down the jacket, if I had to nitpick it a little bit, even though it's not direct venting, love to see a couple extra vents along the back side of this jacket, but at the end of the day, it's just going to be over that $200 mark. It's a lot of bang for the buck, and you're getting molecular Sastec armor, so I really can't complain there. Come back around to the front for me. Now, before you open it up, Hannah, notice the top here. The top is going to be a single snap, and then you're also getting a functional YKK auto locker at the top. So unzip it, show the inside, and as Hannah unzips it, you're going to see the guts here. Notice there's your thermal liner. Your thermal's fully removable on the inside. 
baked in with a mesh liner behind it. Notice the pockets that are worked in. And this secondary zip is actually going to be the waterproofing layer, which comes in behind that main connection zipper, giving you an additional area of protection. And notice the loop up towards the collar, which is fleece lined. That grommet is going to be for keeping your headphones or your earbuds snaked from your pocket in the right position. So you can zip that back up. Remember, removable full sleeve thermal liner, non-removable waterproofing, two to three season cold weather, but a style that's gonna match with a lot of different riding styles depending on your level of investment and if really that quilting and textile work for you. Remember, it's a 600D outer shell. The next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the new Scorpion Ladies Dominion jacket available at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free or 39 bucks. If you wanna to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.